you know, at this point, I'm definitely running out of ways to start these videos. Like the last three, like the last three, I've just slid into frame from the left. The only thing that's different about this one is that I've, 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 there's a large pile of plushies in my wife's chair. I put them there. They're going to be peeved if they're still there when they get back from work. They're probably going to still be there when they get back from work because I'm going to forget to do it because I have a stream to do after recording this video. <laughs> but enough about that <laughs> because uh, I have to record this video now. I didn't rehearse how I was going to start this, so this is going to be interesting. <laughs> so, if you remember, oh god, what video was it? In one of my older videos where I talked about, I think it was the timeline video I, I did, I mentioned that I used to use the term fanboy before my egg cracked, and I mentioned offhandedly that there was uh, people who were deliberating on whether or not the term was transphobic or not, or a slur or not. So, I'm going to use a word here. It's been a uh, kind of started being hotly debated right now if it's a slur or not. So if it is, uh, I apologize, but it is something I identified with. So I do feel like I need to talk about it. So I had a femboy phase. And here we are, like three, four years later. People are still deliberating on it. And I'm not, and I am done being neutral. So I'm going to make an official uh, statement on it because. It's not. It's not a slur. And anyone who's, like, actually around the community knows it's not a slur. I've never heard trans person, trans femme person say, no, it's a slur. The only people I've heard saying this are non-trans or even non-queer people. The, uh, that's what we're going to talk about today, even though I've already given you the too long didn't read. But before uh, we go into it, I have an announcement. I have a single patron. Uh, their name will be here. Thank you very much for supporting my my videos. <laughs> uh, if you want to support my videos, your name can also be here. Uh, I guess a link to the Patreons in the description. Thank you to uh, your name. <laughs> I'll patch it later. Thank you for thank you for supporting me very much. It means a lot. It pays for my donuts for like a month, which is excellent because I get paid monthly by Patreon. But, okay, <laughs> that's over. Why are we talking about this? Because this is a, a really silly issue that comes up surprisingly often, and I just want to put, use the small platform I have to, you know, at least try to alleviate some of it. Hi, Pinboys. If you're watching this video, hi, you're welcome here. All of my videos you can watch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, if you felt felt like you're unwelcome in this space, you are welcome. Just to get that out of the way, I'm not against you. Two is like it's just like it's a real dumb argument, pardon the phrase, I guess. But like we have more important things to worry about whether or not this label that some people like to use is transphobic. It really isn't. <laughs> so let's so let's get into like the uh, meat the meat. I can't show any of my meat. The meat? I, nope, you can't see my thigh. Let's get into, like, in. Okay, so I, I want to start with some definitions. So we know where we are. That we can be on the same page with our terms. Because uh, communication is important. Especially if you're talking about stuff or having an argument. So, first, I want to define slur, because that's the main thing that people are calling it. So, according to, I, don't know, I got this Google, this definition from Google, I assume it's Merriam-Webster, a slur is a derogatory or insulting term applied to a particular group of people. In this case, people are saying that femboy is a derogatory term, derogatory or insulting term applied to trans women or trans feminine people. Those two groups? And now, Finboy, I could not find a term, a definition that I felt was accurate, so I made one. <laughs> uh, the 
uh, definition I've written, and I passed it by uh, as many Finboys as I knew I could pass it by within the few hours between me writing and recording this video. So my current working definition is self-applied label for at least an in-part masculine-aligned person who presents their gender in a traditional feminine manner. This can include clothing, hair, or mannerisms. The label can be applied to men, cis, or trans. This is important. As well as to nine very nine people and some trans women. So I think I, I'll probably go into this a bit because it's it's kind of wordy. I'm sorry that it's so wordy, but um definitions be wordy, yo. Eh? Eh? Yeah, it's kind of wordy. My bad. So a self-applied label means it's just a thing someone calls themselves. I I think we I think we all understand what that means, yeah? Or at least in part masculine aligned person. So I'm, uh, when I uh, ran this definition by a few people, they did get a little confused that people not might not know what the what that means. This means the person who is using this term at least in at least in part or in full identifies with being a man or a masculine person. It's the boy part who presents their gender in a tra traditionally feminine manner, which you know. I think that's fairly easy. That's how they dress, how they talk, how their hair wears. I present my gender in mostly a traditional feminine manner. Mostly. I say wearing a pagan folk shirt. Eh. Maybe this is more traditional. <laughs> this label can... And let's move on. This label can be applied to cis men, or cis boys as a word. Trans men or trans boys, because... uh. I've been, been around a decent amount of, like, fin boy circles for a while because there's a big overlap with trans fin people there because a lot of trans fins identify as fin boys before their egg cracks, like me. And there are a lot of trans guys there who do identify with the fin boy label. So, remember, remember trans men exist, guys? <laughs> trans men are real? Please remember that. <laughs> I feel like a lot of times trans femmes tend to talk over trans men, and it's important to listen to them. Uh, as well as non-binary people. Not saying that non-binary people aren't trans, but some non-binary people do not identify as trans, like my wife. But uh, non-binary people uh, can use the label too, and some trans women. I know a few trans women, generally, who do tend to, look to lean towards the MB like section of the flag who do use the label, and I know some that use it just for, like, marketing purposes, both of which are valid. I don't. I I am not a femboy. If you call me a femboy, I will bite you. So don't do that. You won't get rabies, probably, but, um, if you don't want me to bite you, don't call me that. And if you do want me to bite you, also don't call me that. You could just pay me. Maybe. I'm not accepting donations right now. So let's get in to the next section, which is why it isn't a slur. I don't know why I do this. I never actually edit the text in here, so um, why it isn't a slur. So, like I said in the definitions earlier, it's people who say derogatory or insulting. I've never read it as derogatory or insulting. I don't think I've ever heard someone just refer to it as like, ah, it's a thin boy. Yeah. <laughs> Or whatever. It's not derogatory or insulting. It's generally just what people call them. I guess you, you can make an argument for, oh, it's used to oppress trans women when they try to come out and people say, oh, you're just a fin boy. Or why don't you just be a feminine man? Which, why am I checking my phone right now? I'm talking to the, <laughs> talking to the computer. Like, for example, if you saw my coming out video, that was a thing that was said to me by my mom. Why can't you be a feminine man? And uh, I kind of talked through it over there because... That's different. I get what they're talking about, but that is different. But let's get into my very main point is it's an inaccurate, like saying it is a slur is an inaccurate use of verbiage. So, for example, if you were to look at me and say you are a man, that is one inaccurate. I am not a man. I am a woman. It's just inaccurate. So it'd be... Hmm, how would I say this? So, for example, say someone was misgendering me or calling me a man. That does not make the word man transphobic. 
It's just inaccurate. It makes the person who's using it on you transphobic if they are doing it on purpose. A lot of people aren't doing this on purpose. Sometimes they just don't know. Because, because they don't, don't, I do tend to bite at people very fast if they are saying transphobic things because I assume they're doing it out of malice. And sometimes it's just, it just isn't out of malice. It is just out of ignorance. And we should do our best to calmly, like, you know, correct and explain uh, why that's inaccurate. But like I said, it's just calling a trans person who doesn't identify with the label it it's not a transphobic word the action itself can be transphobic because i believe misgendering is transphobia but that is that's not done on purpose that is just ignorance which is different now a uh, second point is some trans women and nbs identify with the word i know a lot of nbs who are trans feminine who do use the label and they are valid. It's, there's nothing wrong with them using that because they identify with it in like some capacity. And there's also, like I met, went over before, some trans women who use it. I know less of them, but a lot of the time they are using it for marketing or they do still somewhat identify with it or the communities around it. And point three, 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 is that I don't know how long some... Some of the people who are making this argument have been around. This argument kind of, as far as I can tell, has originated from TikTok, which does have, like, a younger uh, user base. But we fought for so long to get people to start using Femboy instead of the, the, the anime T-slur, which I will not say. And oh, it's so much better if you just use Femboy instead of the T-slur. An actual story that does get people killed. No one has, to my knowledge, has been killed over being called a Finboy. People have been killed over the T-slur. We do not have a Finboy panic defense law. We do have a trans panic defense law. Please. I was just stuck there. Please. It's, there's a lot of, like... I'm just trying to give you, like, a surface level, like, go over here, but, like... We fought for so long just to get people to start at least calling uh, characters who, uh, like, may like... Mm. We just fought so long to get people to stop using that, even though if they do use Femboy for characters, that is it. That it may be inaccurate for. It's still better than using an actual slur that gets people killed. We just need to get to the point where people understand that just because they say, oh, I'm a boy, and then specifically say i wish i wasn't that probably means they're trans a lot of authors are not good at telling you when your their characters are trans because they didn't do it on purpose i should know i did that before i trans <laughs> and one other argument that is uh brought up with a lot of the people who are saying don't use the word thin boy they say use rose boy instead and uh all the thin boys i've talked to mostly are either neutral to it or dislike it. <laughs> or else I asked them why they felt this way, because obviously I don't use the label, so I don't have my feelings on it. <laughs> I don't have feelings on it. Mostly people saying it's a bit more confusing, because if you see the word femboy, it's like, I know what that means. That's a feminine boy. If you see the word rose boy, what the hell does that mean? You also, you've, you've gendered roses. Congratulations, you've gendered, a, uh, you've got, you've gendered a plant. Good job. Why'd you do that? Yes, a lot of people have just been saying uh, they feel like it's inaccurate, it's confusing, and it's just like, you know, it doesn't really work. But something here I also wanted to do is, since, you know, I've, I've taken all this time to talk about the, the stuff and why I feel like, eh, it's kind of eh, eh, eh. So... Why don't we, not to platform these people, but I can't really censor it, so we're going to watch some of their, uh, some of uh, what they have said on TikTok. I don't like TikTok. I actually had to have a, an acquaintance source these for me because I don't know how to use it. I have a TikTok for my VTube stuff, and I've, I, I still don't know how to use it, so uh, give me a second. Okay. Okay. Oh dear. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go with something like this. I think this is the best angle I'm gonna have for this. Because oh boy, 
I don't know how to use this garbage website. So this one looks like first one, it looks like it's just just text, which is saying a slur that was used against trans women, please use Rosewa as an alternative. Um was who has used this? I have no I have found nothing implying this was ever used as like a negative thing. Just images of Venti from Genshin. Um I have nothing to critique here. It's just an inaccurate usage of verbiage. I feel like this is something I wanted to bring up earlier. I feel like a lot of the people who are saying this are not doing this out of malice or whatever. I think it is just pure ignorance that they they see this thing as like that feel I feel a little weird about that. That must be transphobic, but they really should have, you know, like um run like their comments past an actual trans person. Let's see, let's grab this one. Okay. Someone has recently introduced a fanboy gym leader to the Scarlet Fanboy is in slur. Fanboy uh. was and is in corn category, and this word is used to offend trans feminine people. I highly recommend you and other people do research on the topic. Did you do research on the topic? <laughs> okay. It is not a slur. It is. I get. Okay, I get what they're saying here that it was is used in porn. Lots of stuff is used in porn. I get that, but like, I honestly don't have a problem with that. Like, you could say goth girl. Am I offensive for being sometimes goth girl because a lot of people search <laughs> big titty goth girl on Pornhub? I don't think so. I don't think so. I. I I know no trans person as offended by boys dressing femininely <laughs> i feel like some of the i don't like accusing people of being terminally online because i'm terminally online myself but like have you spoken to anybody about this or is this uh just something that just kind of went around i feel like um i feel like if you're a younger queer person who gets a lot of your stuff from tiktok you could be hearing this and making the connection there and saying that it's uh like offensive because that is what you've been told, but you haven't really, you know, been around, not to disparage you. You know, everyone starts somewhere. That was like, that wasn't... Okay, that wasn't really... There's not a lot of these. Let's try this one. Video is currently available. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Apparently, uh, according to the person who sourced that, uh, that one's saying... Uh, it wasn't. As, it was in defense of it not being a slur, which I agree with. It's saying that the trans femmes are hurting us, which is not true. <laughs> we are not doing that. I have not met any who would be doing that. That is feels like a very much a thing that would just be you know driving a wedge between us, which makes really no sense because there's a lot of crossover between trans femmes and femboys. We don't need misplaced blame. A lot of us are already having enough you know trouble with the way things are and how safety is. So you know like. Don't do that. <laughs> we should not be attacking each other. We should just talk to each other and figure out what's what's up. Let's try this one. Okay. Uh, there's a report mark. Why? Okay. Okay. Non trans fems do not interact. Well, I'm trans fem, so I am allowed to interact. Oh boy, femboy originated in the porn industry. The misgender trans fems. That's not true. <laughs> I, like, I feel like the term as it is originated, some people were saying back in the 90s, I didn't really look into that too much, but I know I first heard it, like, a few years ago with, like, uh, more, like, feminine presenting male characters getting more popular in anime and stuff, which is how the, like, the current culture around it is. Saying it's, uh, which, so, no, it didn't arise in, in porn. There are ones that have, ari have arisen in porn that I agree with, this would, I wouldn't feel good about, like, uh, I don't want to say it, I don't want to say them, but I'll put, put, like, center versions of them on screen, and I don't like those. Oh, I think they, they may have just, like, left, like, oh, this one was, is kind of gross for porn, so this one must be just like it. Like, like I said, I think it's just ignorance. Plus, the original is literally a female boy, unless you're, uh, uh, yeah, it's like I th I think this is just like someone who who's trying to help, but they they are kind of just you know they're a bit ill informed or they're making leaps in judgment. 
Oh boy, sorry. The comment on that uh, this next one I've been given is uh, whew. So, oh. look, someone got mad at me and compared me saying Finboy isn't a slur, depending on context, to someone who says the N-word because they have a black friend. Please don't compare stuff like this to the N-word, guys. Oh my god. Why do white people, <laughs> I say myself included, always try to go for that? It's like, listen, can you talk about slurs without having to compare it to the N-word? Because... Well, that this is magnet thing we are talking right now is magnitudes lower than the violence that the, is attached to the word. Please don't do that. Okay, where was I? Bro, I can probably do this blindfolded. Okay. Maybe I drew that comparison because he literally used the "I have a friend that's a certain minority group" excuse, which is literally the same "I can't be racist, I have a black friend" excuse. It's the same damn thing. It's fucking stupid that you just don't listen. It, I swear, it's people like you who make it hard for transgender women and trans femmes in general. I may not be a transgender woman or trans femme, but I can very well tell you that they have a very hard time, and it's thanks to people like you. Because no, it's not. We do have a hard time. That is true. It's not because of people saying, Thin boy. I'm not worried about walking down the street and getting called a finboy. I'm worried about walking down the street and getting assaulted. <laughs> it's there's a diff there is a big difference. <laughs> yeah, just don't compare stuff to the N word, guys. Please, like, come on. I f I lose like any like like any re like reasonable like patience I would have had to like talk to you about it if you say, well, it's just as bad as the N word. It's not. Okay. Okay. Alright, so it's, uh, it's in the text below this, so I will repost it because uh, it was brought to my attention that Femboy can be used as a slur. I, as I am a cis woman, I do not want to use a term that is not mine to reclaim. Please no arguing in the comments. It's okay if you reclaim the term, but as a cis woman is not my place to describe an OC with it. Thank you so much for your understanding. It's not... I mean, if you want to make that argument, you can make any argument that anything can be used as a slur, which is a, uh, that's a slippery slope that I'm not ready to go down. Uh, I think it's fine if you are, like, a cis person and you're designing an OC and it fits this, like, aesthetic. Like, I've designed, an, I've designed OCs that are femboys, and then there's no problem with that. <laughs> I don't think there's a problem with that. It's not, like, a thing that needs to be reclaimed. It's it it is already claimed that there's no re to be done. And last one that I was sent. You want a Is that you want a Is that Yeah, uh mm. It was I th th this thing with this is like it's implying it was a slur to begin with, which it wasn't. Like I, like I just said, it, there's no reclaiming to be done. It's just, it's just a description. Like if you want to say "finboy" is a slur, then you have to say like "tomboy" is a slur, which it isn't. I don't think anyone will argue in the favor of "tomboy" being a slur. I don't think anyone should argue that "finboy" is a slur. It's, it's a silly, or it's a silly, just a silly like thing that we've been going through through the past few years. But yeah, like the, a lot of these arguments feel like. What's the opposite of airtight? Air loose? They, these arguments feel very air loose and they haven't really feel like they haven't actually talked to anybody about this. It's just like I'm here in this weird, weird vacuum that is TikTok, I guess. And like other people are saying, so that must be true. I haven't I haven't consulted with a trans femme on this. How do they feel? Have or like yeah, it's such a, it's so, it's so weird, like, no, nah, it's not a slur. If you use it to describe a trans femme, you're just being inaccurate. Some, and some do like that term. Ask, ask them, I guess, but you know, you shouldn't default to using it on the trans femme, because that, that's a good way to get hit. I'd hit, I would hit, probably. But anyway, uh, that's, that's this video, I guess. Uh, sorry that I missed last month, uh, well, whatever, I did two videos the month before, so it's fine. Uh, next video, I'm not going to announce...
because I made a habit of doing that, and then I kept not making them. <laughs> but uh, I'm working on some stuff. I'm working on another scripted video, which will use my VTube stuff, because it's not about queer stuff. And uh, there's another one probably the month after, which will be about queer stuff if I can get off my butt and send some letters. But anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, see you hopefully next month or the month after, if I can stop being lazy and stop dying from my job. Bye. Uh, this is the uh, this is the end screen. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, you can join the Discord server. Follow me on Twitch if you like that stuff. Uh, see you next month, hopefully. Bye.